Southeast Turkey, 1994. A local farmer's plow had uncovered a set of carved rocks protruding from the ground on the crest of a mound called Gebekli Tepe, near today's war-torn border with Syria. But the most breathtaking discovery was not the size of the complex, it was its age. It was once thought Britain was home to the world's oldest stone circles. But Gebekli Tepe blows Stonehenge out of the water. The most ancient organic material found in the fabric of the stonework was radiocarbon dated to before 9,000 BC, more than 11,000 years ago, 6,000 years before construction at Stonehenge even began. We today actually are closer to the builders of Stonehenge when the people building Stonehenge were to Gobekli Tepe. Gobekli Tepe represents the oldest monumental structure ever built. Carved, moved and erected without anything more sophisticated than manpower and stone tools. We're talking about a period here which has not seen metal tools and even the wheel was not invented yet, so these monuments were put together by hand. The art and architecture at Gebekli Tepe is rewriting prehistoric archaeology. But it was the identity of the architects that would cause the greatest shock. Archaeologists found the clues not in the stonework, but in the trash. Joris Peters has spent more than two decades examining 11,000-year-old animal remains from the landscape around Gebekli Tepe. But it's the animal bones discovered within the enclosures which were the most revealing. Most had been shattered, a clear sign they'd been butchered to extract bone marrow. But the key clue was in the type of bones discovered, only the richest cuts. Normally, when you have domestic animals living in a place, when you slaughter them, you will find all the elements of the body, the head, the spine, the lower legs. It's all there. But for Gobekli Tepe, the picture is totally different. Most of the bones we found are the ones that carry a lot of meat. The animals hadn't been butchered on site. They'd been carved up wherever they'd been killed. And the medius joints brought up the hill. For archaeologists, it was evidence that these animals were wild. And for the builders of Gebekli Tepe, they were prey. The focus on meat-bearing parts points to hunter-gatherers. It goes against everything archaeologists thought they knew about the lives of Stone Age hunters. Ancient hunter-gatherers lived off the land, roaming across vast distances, following prey and collecting edible plants. The idea that they might have stayed in one place long enough to build giant monuments in stone defied belief. The discovery of Gebekli Tepe threw anthropologists' theories about life in the Stone Age into chaos. And rumor quickly spread of a monument to nature in an ancient land of plenty. Could Gebekli Tepe hold the secret to the location of the Bible's Garden of Eden?